first now a serious warning from a West Michigan family this holiday season. Take a look at this video of three men kicking in a door and breaking into a house. At least one of them appears to be armed with a gun. Yeah, this happened last month and luckily the family wasn't home when it took place. But tonight they're telling our Michael yeah. Martin they want those home invaders brought to justice, Michael. Yeah, this would be terrifying for any family to watch this happening. It's your home to come in, kick in your door and invade your space, steal your stuff. Now the family worries that these suspects might do it again at another home. And next time the house might not be empty. It just ruins your holiday, you know, ruins it. You know, it's a time of giving and people think they can just take what they want with no repercussions. Well, they're wrong because I'm going to press this all the way. A family is taking a stand after a group of people broke into their home on Four Mile near Dean Lake back on November 26. I'm just glad nobody was home. Luckily, the Shingola family home is equipped with multiple surveillance cameras, capturing these horrifying images of the hooded suspects walking up to the side garage door in broad daylight. They make their way inside without any sort of hesitation. And they get in my garage and they pull out handguns. Nobody even noticed the guns in their hands until the next day. Really? Yeah. Wow. My son found, pointed it out. None of the family was home at the time of the break-in. James Shingola said his son's girlfriend had several people over at the house while he had been working overnight. When his son came home, he asked everyone to leave. Kicked him out, wanted to go to bed. Shingola believes that later in the day when his son left to drive his girlfriend home, several of the people he kicked out came back. However, investigators have not confirmed any suspects. And I called my son on the phone. I'm like, what's up? Where are you at? You at home? And he's like, I think someone broke in the house. He pulled up the surveillance cameras and saw this. When they knocked on the door, one guy's listening and the other guy's aiming a gun at the door. And if, if my wife or kids would have opened the door, what would have happened? James says the suspect smashed two of his TVs and stole an Xbox and a watch. Thank God for video surveillance. The Kent County Sheriff's Department is still investigating the incident. James is eager for arrests to be made. I kind of was just more worried about them doing it to someone else, you know? Not that they did it to me, but what if they killed someone? Right. You know, it's, it sends chills down my spine thinking about it. So if you have any information about the break-in or the individuals involved, you are, of course, asked to reach out to the Kent County Sheriff's Department or Silent Observer. For now, live in the studio, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you for that.